A state official is going on a rhino hunt. It's December 21st, 2023, and these are your headlines. Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller has announced a slate of new endorsements, including David Covey against House Speaker Dade Phelan. In his endorsement, he said, as state representative, the first votes Dave Covey casts will be, a tr will be for a true conservative speaker to stop the appointment of left-wing Democrats as committee chairs and to boot Dade Phelan's Obama lawyer parliamentarian and replace him with a real conservative. In October, Covey also earned Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson's endorsement. Covey is the former Orange County Republican Party chairman, and he first announced his campaign against Phelan in June. He took aim at Phelan for appointing Democrats to key leadership positions in Texas House committees. In the Republican primary for HD21 seat, that's the district that Dade Phelan represents, Covey's joined by another challenger, Alicia Davis of Jasper, who says her main priority is eliminating property taxes and county appraisal districts. House District 21 contains all of Orange and Jasper counties, as well as a portion of Jefferson County. And as we've reported, You've got an interesting situation here where Speaker Dade Phelan appears to be pretty vulnerable in his own district. He's got low approval ratings among Republicans, and he's got two challengers in the primary. Could be interesting. Well, Sid Miller has also released a slate of endorsements on his rhino hunt, including Chris Spencer in House District 1 over Gary Van Dever, Brent Money in the special election for Texas House District 2, Joe McDaniel in House District 7, that's over incumbent J. Dean. Ben Bias in House District 12. A.J. Louderback in House District 30. Andy Hopper in House District 64 over incumbent Lynn Stuckey. Barry Wernick in House District 108 over Morgan Meyer. Jared Woodfill in House District 138 over Lacey Hull. The Republican primary is March 5th. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has set a court date for an illegal alien seeking asylum for January 23rd, 2031. Yeah, you heard me right. More than seven years away. Fox News correspondent Bill Malugin reported that a Colombian woman seeking asylum crossed illegally into El Paso, and her immigration attorney, Matthew Colkin, is shocked by the wait time to process her claim. Malugin said that Colkin told him that his client is a legitimate asylum seeker with what he feels is an airtight case, but because the system is so backlogged with illegitimate asylum claims, he's not sure they'll ever get a chance to argue it in court with her next check-in essentially eight years into the future. He continued to say, it made me realize the Biden administration is basically providing backdoor amnesty for anyone wants to sh who wants to show up at the border. That's what Colkin told Malusian. Citizens responded with outrage in the comments on his Post on X, one person said it will be voting in two national election cycles before her court date. That's true. Indeed, even if a Republican, uh, presumably Donald Trump, based on polling, retakes the White House in 2024, he would be out of office by 2029, two years before the woman's court date. According to Transactional Record Access Clearinghouse immigration data, the court backlog has reached a record 3 million pending cases. Meanwhile, illegal border crossers are released into the U.S. and flown to cities across the country. Texas lawmakers passed Senate Bill 4 earlier this month, which makes it a crime to enter the state illegally. However, the ACLU filed a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of the measure. Although it's supposed to go into effect on March 5th, it could be tied up in court for much longer. If you're not watching The Luke Messia Show, then you are not as engaged as everybody else is in Texas who's trying to make a difference, knowing exactly what's going on so that they can take action on the things that really matter. Guys, watch us on the Roku app for Texas Scorecard. Watch us on YouTube. Listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Get engaged, get more informed, so together we can actually make a bigger difference on things that matter for the future of Texas. God bless you. Lastly, a North Texas robotics teacher was arrested on charges relating to child pornography. According to a report from the Dallas Express, Corey Bankston worked at Greenville High School, was arrested by the Hunt County Sheriff's Office last week. He was charged with one count of possession of child pornography and four counts of possession with intent to promote child pornography. Bankston could face up to 30 years in prison. His bond was set at $320,000. Hunt County Sheriff's deputies... We're serving three search warrants at the residence of Carrie Lane regarding child pornography. Following the search, Bankston was arrested. Greenville Independent School District Police Department 
Hopkins County Sheriff's Office and the Texas Rangers assisted the Hunt County deputies. More charges could soon follow pending a further investigation by the Sheriff's Office. Hunt County Sheriff Terry Jones says that he does not tolerate these incidents and expects the case to be treated with the utmost priority. Following Bankston's arrest, Greenville ISD sent an email out to different district staff and students' parents saying that the teacher had been placed on administrative leave and the district would be cooperating with authorities. The Texas scorecard reached out to Greenville ISD and was told that Bankston is no longer employed with the district. According to state records, Banks, Bankston's teaching certificate is still valid. The Dallas Express reported that as of December 17th, there's been 54 pornography and obscene material offenses committed within Dallas city limits in 2023. Additionally, the city's recorded over 700 sex offenses with the current median victim's age at 16 years old. Texas Scorecard has exposed dozens of educators charged with sex crimes with more being charged almost daily. To see more of today's stories, you can go to texasscorecard.com.